All right, recruits. Today I'm going to teach you how to make ricotta gnocchi mushroom cream sauce. Possibly the shortest intro to a dish <laughs> that we've had thus far. Who's seen gnocchi produced? You ever seen gnocchi from scratch? No. Oh, my goodness, okay. So, traditional gnocchi is made from potato. Preferably, it's a baked potato, so the potato dries out, then the potato is then riced, and then your flour, your cheese, your egg, everything is built in, and you can work it as a dough right here. Now, ricotta gnocchi, slightly different. The dough is gonna be wetter. It's ricotta, a little bit of flour, cheese, salt to season, and then variations. I can add whatever else I want in there, but that's the base. So. First thing I'm gonna do is make my gnocchi dough. I'm gonna go ahead and crack my eggs first. Three yolks. Your egg is your binder. One cup flour, measy meas. A cup and a half of grated Parmesan cheese. And 15 ounces of ricotta. This pint container, see this line right here? That's where you wanna be. And then, what am I doing? Settling it. Working out all the air bubbles, exactly. For my sauce, I'm gonna take one garlic clove and half a shallot, minced. I'm gonna keep them separate. I'm not putting them together. Now, gnocco. Into the mixer, it's gonna go my ricotta cheese, my Parmesan cheese, and my three egg yolks. Quarter teaspoon of salt, and only a quarter teaspoon because we have a lot of salt in there via the Parmesan cheese. Scrape off my paddle, scrape down my sides a little bit, make sure everything is down in there. I wanna add the flour in, in three stages. There's one. And I'm doing it in three just because if I beat the flour in here and keep mixing it, instead of that gnocchi being pillowy, the gluten in the flour, you're really gonna activate it and it's gonna become really tough. On the board, a little bit of flour there, and then a little flour on our sheet tray. A little flour in my hands, grab a little bit of our dough. It doesn't have to be an exact amount, just enough so that I can start rolling our gnocchi out. We're gonna take our bench scraper and I'm gonna go across, pinch, cut. Pinch cut. If it feels like it's starting to stick, you can just take a little bit of flour. Now I'm less concerned with the pinch. If they're perfectly round, that's okay. What's more important is the technique of getting the dough, not over mixing the dough. Do we need to refrigerate it or anything? You can dock it right in the refrigerator. It'll hold and set up, but if you move swiftly enough, you're not gonna need to, and I'm gonna show you why. These are oyster mushrooms, and I'm using my take or hen of the woods mushrooms. So, pan heating up, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna build sauce in here, and gnocchi's gonna go in here. When the gnocchi float, the gnocchi are gonna come up right into the sauce. It's gonna go from right here right into the bowl. Boom. Just Boom. like that, right? We love. So I am gonna season my pasta water. I'm gonna start the maitakes first. They take a little bit longer than the oyster mushroom. I'm breaking up these oysters so that they're about the same size as the other mushrooms, so that the mouth feel is even. Add a little bit more oil, so I just want my mushrooms to brown a little bit. I want a nice sprig of thyme, I'm gonna pull this out, so when the sauce is complete, this is gonna end up coming out. Add some chopped shallot to this. Hands a little dry, I'm gonna have a touch more fat. I'm gonna lightly season my mushrooms with a little bit of salt. And yes, it's coming into play. Pepper. Adding my thyme and my garlic. and I'm going to continue to cook that. Now, at this point in time, I am now going to take my gnocchi. My water is boiling. I could take this and I could drop it right into my pot. Just like that Thanksgiving turkey, gnocchi has, has a self timer. When they float, they're done. Now, I'm gonna add about a cup of cream. Cup and a half of cream. Now I'm gonna turn my fire down. A little chopped chive. I love chopped chive. I love fresh herbs on everything. So what made you pull the sauce off? Like, why were you like, oh, it's the, time to pull this off? The consistency of the sauce, because I'm gonna finish cooking the gnocchi okay. in this sauce. You see the gnocchi? They're floating. I'm gonna pull all these little floaters, and I'm gonna drop them, boop, 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 boop. Right in here, it's gonna go back on the fire. Oh, look at that. Look at these little pillows of love. So now the thing about cream sauces, you don't want it to be like glue. Now if I over reduce my cream, I can take a little of this gnocchi water. So what do I need to do to this? Taste it. Taste it. Taste my sauce. I'm gonna taste my gnocchi. Those are delicious. So all I'm gonna do now is plate. 
And now all that mushroom and goodness, I want some throughout, but I also want some on the top, right? Fresh herb, because I am that dude. Hey -o. That looks so pretty. 